now we're going to move into talking about comparatives. Okay, comparatives. So the first question is, what is a comparative? Um, you, to compare something is to take two things and compare them. So I have two markers, okay? They are the same size. They are not the same color, okay? Um, you could say the red marker is brighter than the black marker. It's brighter than, okay? Um, so we could say that, now we'll go down here. The red marker is brighter than, okay? So let's take a look. So we have a couple of examples. The red marker is brighter than the green one. And the green marker is lighter than the red one. Okay. So there are two ways to use um, comparatives. We can say, uh, again, we're comparing two things. As dot, 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 as. So here are two examples. Okay. First example, her new car is as good as her old one. So that means they are the same, okay? Not better and not worse, okay? They are the same. Her new car is as good as her old one. So you are still comparing two cars, but they are the same. This person's opinion is that the cars are the same, not better, not worse, roughly the same, okay? So her new car is as good as her old one, okay? Now I wanna point something out when we've got all of these small words like this, um, a lot of people's tendency or um, habits are to drop some of these words. And I want you guys to make sure you do not do that. So we need to have the new car is as good as, okay? So you need all of those, right? You need the verb. And then this is the comparative structure where things are equal. One car is equal to the other car. Another example, and this one is negative. So we're gonna compare two things. We're gonna compare one movie and another movie. So the movie wasn't, this is past tense, okay? So the past tense, right, and is was, and then we're using the negative, okay? You can also use this in, um, you can use it in the past tense, the present tense, and the future. You could say the movie isn't going to be as funny as, or won't be as funny as, um, you can use it in any tense. So your what what you would do to change the tense would just be to change the verb. Okay, this part of it as funny as um, that structure stays the same in any tense. So we don't change this part. We only change the verb to indicate past or future. Okay, the movie wasn't as funny as the last one. The movie wasn't as funny as the last one. So you've got one movie and another movie. So, and we're saying one here, you guys, right? Because it's referencing, it's referring to a movie, okay? So one movie, but we don't need to say movie here and here. We can kind of take that out and just use the word one, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, the movie wasn't as funny as the last one. It wasn't as funny. Okay, so that is your as blank as. And in here goes your adjective. If you guys were in our last class, we talked about adjectives a lot and we talked about adverbs. Um, so I hope if you guys did not see that lesson, it would be really helpful if you go back and do that. Um, and if you have not been on our website, you guys, it's um, goenglishcoach.com, okay? And you do have to sign up in order to see the lessons. You guys get tons and tons of content each month or every week, actually. Um, I send emails out every week with lots of videos and tutorials and practice 
Um, and if you join at the gold level, you guys, you get to join in these classes with me. Okay.